Coates. Here comes an active week of weather. I talked about it last week, how it was all just going to funnel up from the south. We're going to keep warm temperatures here to get the week started. We're going to cool it off a touch as we go through the next couple of days with this added thunderstorm energy. And right now in First Alert Viper radar, you can see that the Snake River Plain pretty much void of all thunderstorms. You go into the mountains, you're getting in around Butte County, Lemhi County, Clark County. You're starting to see uh, some decent uh, passing showers. I had to report a few sprinkles in Howe, north of Arco there, and also some lightly scattered showers just along Highway 28. Also been checking out western Wyoming, the national parks here. Some scattered showers through Old Faithful right now. Grand Teton's also getting a bit wet there with some scattered showers pushing through. Jackson Hole is kind of in a bit of a dry spot for the moment. And we've seen some thunderstorms also right over Victor and Driggs. And into the southeastern highlands, not much in terms of thunderstorm action around Bear Lake, but there is some thunderstorm activity to the south in northern Utah. So folks on Bear Lake probably want to take note because the storms are heading that way. And that's not the best time to be on the water at all around the region. Let me take you right over to the Viper Cast and let's walk through this because all this energy is going to be funneling up out of the south. And this is the pattern all week long. So let me start you off at 10 o'clock tonight. Mostly cloudy conditions, scattered storms, and some of these storms, again, getting into the Snake River Plain. At times, they could turn severe all week long. So be aware that we may get flash flood warnings, we may get severe thunderstorm warnings, and that could be popping in all throughout the week here. And then by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., Still looking at mainly cloudy conditions, and then the moisture is just going to funnel in here. Watch this as I set this in the motion as we go through tomorrow afternoon around 4 or 5 o'clock. That energy is going to come out of the southeast wrap it around that big ridge of high pressure. And this is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Scattered showers and thunderstorms from central Idaho all the way into the plain and into the eastern Idaho highlands here. And then tomorrow night around 7 o'clock, got a few spotty thunder shower, uh, showers getting right over the Snake River Plain and also some pretty heavy stuff into western Wyoming. Then we get into Wednesday. You can see central Idaho, southwestern Idaho, towards Boise, they're going to get hit first. And then this stuff is going to spread Wednesday night with more scattered storms. We get a break Wednesday night, Thursday morning also a break, but Thursday afternoon, more scattered storms with us here as we go throughout the region. Uh, let's talk about the lows tonight. We're back to around 53 in Chalice, mid-50s in Mackey, and 56 in Arco, with the mid to upper 50s for the Snake River Plain, mid-50s in Idaho Falls, 52 though for Driggs and Teton Valley, and near 60 tonight for Pocatello, lower 60s in Burley, the upper 50s for Lava, and the lower 50s for Soda and Montpelier tonight with the upper 40s in Afton. Temperatures tomorrow coming back, a couple degrees cooler, not much of a difference, plus you're going to feel the humidity outside, and it's also going to feel warmer, it's going to feel more miserable because you're going to have that added moisture to the air. So today we're hitting the 90s, we're going to be looking at those mid to upper 80s for Pocatello, Blackfoot, mid 80s in Idaho Falls, 81 in Driggs and Jackson, 79 in Island Park, hitting 84 for Rigby, and in the lower 90s for Salmon and Chalice. The eight day forecast, Moving forward, scout, uh, scattered thunderstorms all the way through the rest of the week, even a bit of your weekend. Most of these will be afternoon thunder showers favoring the high country. And right now, for the weekend, I'm going with a 20% chance of scattered thunderstorms for Saturday with highs near 90 for Idaho Falls. Pocatello, it's going to stay pretty warm for the rest of the week here. I mean, a couple degrees cooler tomorrow. And then we're going to pick things back into the lower 90s by the weekend. Mainly cloudy conditions, a slight chance of a thunderstorm on Saturday. Rexburg also looking at scattered thunderstorms as we go through the week here. 85 for Wednesday, lower 80s on Friday, mid 80s to get us into Saturday with about a 20% shot of showers there. Blackfoot also to keep the storms with us here. And we're hitting 85 for tomorrow, near 90 getting back to Thursday, 90 degrees for Friday and Saturday. And Jackson Hole and the National Parks, you're going to be dodging thunderstorms all the way through the rest of the week and the weekend also with highs into the upper 70s to lower 80s. Jane Carroll. Thank you, Michael. Here's what we're working on for Local News 8 at 6. The Pocatello Free Clinic is seeing an increase in the patients coming through, but the amount of funding coming in has been on the decline. They say some donors feel that most patients now have dental insurance, so they stopped giving as much. So our donors are specifically saying that they're not going to give as many charitable services anymore in the healthcare field because everybody's supposed to have health insurance now. Tonight at 6, we'll talk to one patient and explain why more and more people who actually have insurance are still choosing to use the free clinic.